What's up guys? Here to talk about caffeine. Like many of you, like myself, and many of us, and the general population of this world and the United States of America, caffeine is con one of the most consumed substances. It's, it's considered a psychoactive drug from what I just read. So it is a drug. It is something that um, you can get addicted to. Something that you feel like you need every single day. When in reality, you do not need this to uh, be a human being to, you know, simply have energy. There's a lot of different types of caffeine. And you can get it from tea, you can get it from coffee, you can get it from, uh, I guess, uh, I believe it's the, uh, the, the chemical type, the substance that's made in the lab. Um, all kinds of different caffeines that are coming out. Anadris, um, the one that is the extended caffeines. So there's just so many different types of caffeines out there. But the reason why I'm talking about it today is because I think I took a little too much caffeine within the past couple days or so. Um, you know, included with my pre-workouts. Um, Bang energy that I've been drinking was also considered an energy drink or pre-workout. Uh, they have a lot of caffeine in them. Anywhere from two to 300 uh, milligrams of caffeine. This one right here. I was taking not too long ago. This one has about 200 milligrams of caffeine in here. And, you know, I was taking that just about every day. I like the way it tastes. And that's what a lot of these companies do. You know, they make it taste really good. Uh, maybe add some sugar or types of sugar to make you uh, like it and get, get addicted and, and continue to drink it so they can, you know, continue to sell the products and make money. Now I'm all about making money, I'm all about making profit and um, starting a business and being an entrepreneur and all of those things. So I'm not against that at all. But my recent experience and my, my many experiences with caffeine is that, you know, it is great, especially when you really need it. Um, and say, it's really great when you don't take it often and you take it and it helps you for the day. You're feeling like you're slow, sluggish, whatever some coffee or a little energy uh, boost or whatever energy drink or wherever you're getting your caffeine from it's always nice to get that boost of energy you feel like wow you know I'm top of my game again you know you feel happy you feel good and you know your dopamine levels are up and you're just feeling really good but when you take it every day and you're taking it a lot you're going through your pre-workout you're buying coffee you're doing this you're buying that you're drinking pop uh, sugar and all that included and combined after a while you can get used to it you can get I guess addicted to it um, your body gets used to it and you don't feel that same high you don't feel that same energy boost that you used to feel before uh, when you first tried it and that's the only that's the only thing that sucks about caffeine is that too much caffeine can really just too much caffeine can really just um, ruin caffeine for you um, as, a, as an individual and you know you like to get that that boost of energy but you're taking so much you gotta continue to take more and more and more you're spending more money and it just becomes this vicious cycle. Recently, I started taking some espressos just to try it out. I feel like I just needed a little extra boost, and that's probably because slowly but surely the caffeine gets addicting, and you get used to it. Um, and I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and try the espressos. I know there's always espressos at Starbucks, Dunkin' Donuts, or whatever. And I tried them out, and I man, I got a really good boost. I tried one one shot, did my mocha frappuccino, or whatever. I love those things, and um, I tried two one time and you know I got a boost but then I just man I just uh, as like today I and this is why I'm talking about it today I just really um, had a bad headache brain fog and I decided to take some Excedrin I wanted to take a nap and rest and get my body rest and thank God you know it was my day off but then again it's like man it's my day off I really don't want to have brain fog I want to be you know feeling good for the day but I did take some B vitamins, which are, you know, they help your nervous system. Those are more natural um, supplements other than caffeine. B vitamins are really good for you. The, the niacin, the B12s. I did take a nice nice dosages of that. And it did help me for a little bit, but brain fog was just too powerful. And um, didn't really do hang in there too long for me. 
So I ended up buying some Excedrin and I do feel a little better. The Excedrin does have some caffeine in there, but also has some, um, I think it's exceptional metaphine that actually helps you feel better, you, you know, numbs the pain or whatever. And it, it works, it helps you get off of that headache and clears it up and kind of just the mixture that they put, they combine with Excedrin, it really uh, helps you uh, overcome that, the headache and that brain fog, especially if you're during the day and just, you know, you want to think right. And I was really having a hard time thinking today and just uh, computing my mind. It's just, the brain fog is, 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 is real and it's no joke. And caffeine can be, you know, one of the, your, their, your issues if you're having headaches or problems thinking. Uh, caffeine can be definitely one of them. You know, I felt great today. I felt healthy and alive at eight and things like that. I was just kind of waiting, but just that caffeine headache or that that, that withdrawal. Um, you know, it's a drug, man, and it's, it's, you withdraw off of it. Um, so you just gotta be careful how much you take. Just like anything else, chocolate, candy, you know, too much of anything is just just not right. It's not good. Everything has to be in balance. But. Um, you know, take out Excedrin, or just if you're gonna take caffeine, you know, t s slow your intake. You know, um, go down on how much you're taking or whatever. Set up two, three cups of coffee. Start taking one and a half or one cup of coffee throughout your day. Or try some B vitamins as well. I have those the description uh, links in the description there below. So check that out, guys. Hope you guys I hope you took something from this. Um, definitely get yourself some Excedrin or some B vitamins to give you a better boost of energy or for the, the excision is going to be for uh, coming off of it and the you know the healing your mind and things like that so that way your mind won't be so you know won't be hurting you and then the B vitamins are going to be more of a natural stimulant to help your nervous system they're just very very more nutritional and just better for you so hope you enjoyed this um, my take on too much caffeine uh, like and subscribe guys until next time be blessed out there. Check out my other content. I got a lot of good videos out there. Um, I've been coming YouTuber here, just trying to influence and you know help people in many many ways, mentally, spiritually, um, health wise, and just uh, connect with people and help and have fun. So thanks guys. Have a good night.